What's up my triple loving YouTube friends? Just hanging out here in the shop up at the cabin, doing a little maintenance, doing a little carb adjusting. Freebie, I had to adjust the carbs on that thing finally. I got so tired of that thing running so dang rich. Moved the clips up one, to lean out the needles a little bit, adjusted my air screws a little bit. That thing is a totally night and day difference. And I added, I added a new uh, gauge on it too. Uh, the speedometer wasn't working on the dang thing ever. So I put a new speedo in because it was actually locked up. Um, but so freebies all ready to run for next weekend. And I like to show you some of the little gadgets and tools and whatnot we use. And this thing here, I just picked this gas pump up because I got so tired of spilling gas on my seat all the time. I could use a funnel with a gas can, I'd spill. I could use no funnel and I would spill. Found this on Amazon. I paid $80 for it. And I can tell you, I would probably pay $300 for it. just how slick this thing works. It's got a little clip so it can mount right to your tank here. It's got an automatic shutoff. There's a little wire running through the hose right here down to the gas pump. Turn it on and it starts pumping your gas. It's like two gallons a minute while it's pumping your gas. You go get your oil jug, you fill it up with oil, you do this, you check your track tension, you do anything you want while this thing's pumping its gas and it'll automatically shut off when it's done. That thing's awesome. And when it does shut off, watch it. It'll actually back drain back into the tank. And so what I did though, when I bought it, I looked for the kit that had the large cap like this to go on the fast fill cans. And I have since learned, don't spend the extra money for the larger cap because you never screwed onto your gas can anyways. I just set it on there and the kit that has the smaller gas caps with it are probably like $20 less. I would just go that route. I paid 80 for it. You can get them for about 50, 60 bucks with the smaller caps. Honestly, that's all you'll need. Um, like I said, I've never screwed it onto a tank. I just take it off and move it to the next can. So save yourself a little bit of money. Don't buy the one with the big cap. You really honestly don't need it. So the reason I wanted to do this video is months ago, I built a trash can, a triple trash can. And I'm not using my normal camera today, guys. So this thing kind of sucks right now. Anyways, um, I built a triple trash can. We put it on cheapo. And the thing was so crazy ass loud. I really didn't want to build anymore. I didn't want, I didn't want people to be disappointed with how loud they were. I had a couple guys say, oh, no, louder is louder's better. Um, I wasn't happy with it. We did take and move it to Trenton's sled thing too, XCR 800. It's half as loud on there and I don't get it. And we moved the can from his XCR 800 onto Cheapo. It's twice as loud than it was on there on here. I don't get it. And maybe it's just the way the motor's built on Cheapo. I, I, I don't understand, but now this, that them cans are gonna be a summer project for me now. I'm gonna build quite a few of them and I'll just sell them over the summer. They're very involved to build. It takes me a lot of time, um, but I am gonna build some. So if anybody is interested in it, I will have them. Um, I'm so much happier that we put it on there and it was so much quieter. And I was like, okay, now I'll build them. Like I said, I like loud too. I have open stingers on a couple of my sleds, but I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. So Trenton's gonna take it for a rip for us. Um, yeah, so we can actually hear it and he's gonna go down the road and back. And I think we're ready to hear that thing sing there, Trenton. He's just getting his helmet on here. So got Chipo sitting out here. We put on about 140 absolute top 10 riding days, amazing miles yesterday up in North Central Minnesota. It was absolutely incredible. It was me, Trenton, uh, Duct Tape Mike, our buddy Eric, and another buddy of ours, Butch. There was a group of five, all five sleds went out, all five sleds came back. Um, it was a blast. Let's, let's get that thing ripping, Trenton. He's gonna go down the road a little ways. He's, he's already had it running, but he's gonna go put a little bit more heat in the engine and then um, give it a little bit on the way back so we can actually hear what it sounds like. But that's that's with my trash can on it now, and it's just it's half as loud on that sled.
now he's gonna fire up Cheapo and do the same thing on Cheapo. And we did some more carb adjusting on that one too and he's much happier the way that thing is running now. That's got an MBRP can on it. That's what was on thing two. So that's an MBRP can on that sled and trash can on thing two. Look at this beauty, huh? Oh, 93 Storm 750. Let's do thing two one more time, Trent. We got a little bit more time here on the video. Let's fire that one up. And, I, say, I don't think it was warm enough yet. Yeah, let's get her, let's, uh, even though we ran a little bit ago, it's, it didn't seem like it was all warmed up. Like his sway bar mod? Yeah, that came off yesterday. He rode the rest of the way back with the sway bar dangling. Oh, she's gorgeous. That is a fun sled to ride. I rode it for the first time the other night. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll try and get some more videos of us riding yet this winter. Uh, yesterday I should have, it was a, almost a bluebird day, um, but the riding was unbelievable. We were like the third track on most of the groom trail all morning. Uh, it was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Hope everybody gets a good ride in the next couple weeks yet. Thanks for watching.